This is Before It Was Headlines, It Was Prophecy, and I'm your host, KB Elizabeth. I'd like to talk to you about um, entertainment. So many teachers and specialty ministries have sprung up again, and, you know, people can sound very spiritual and very influential if they handpick their conversations and speak with confidence. And the reason I'm giving this example and the next one is I will, I assure you, I will tie it, tie it together here. You know, the enemy is getting an awful lot of attention again. And it, it's interesting about we human beings, even what we say is, ab is abhorrent or evil or just diabolical can easily become our focus. I mean, things that bother us, we give it, we just give it space in our mind. And of course, um, you know, the enemy, and be that an enemy in the natural or an individual you have a problem with or the adversary in the spiritual realm, people are somewhat entertained by the scenarios that play out in their head. You know, whether it's, Political, religious, nations against nations. Um, we do tend to like to focus on what we're against, what we don't believe in, or what we say we're fighting. I don't know, something about maybe we feel stronger if we feel like we're, you know, I don't know. I can't, I can't put my finger on it because I know I've made a concerted effort in this last couple of months to really steer away from things that, Either I can't do anything about or things that really are distressing. I, I have literally quoted to myself Philippians 4, 8. Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true. That's where I want, you know, it's a big, it's like eight or nine things that says, you know, and think on these things. I think it's eight. And then the idea of think, you know, we have control of that. I've literally prayed for the mind of Messiah. And you know, Messiah, in one day, whether um, in Mark chapter 4, 5, pardon me, Mark chapter 5, he cast out demons, he healed a woman, and he raised the dead. He didn't have a specialty area that says, you know, this is what I do on Tuesdays. This is my area of specialty. And he also said his followers would be like him. So, as as this has all come about, I see just a real trend of, you know, a specializing. And that's what the world does. The world specializes in, you know, degrees and and that's that's all fine, but that isn't what Yeshua said we would be doing. We're to specialize in him and allow him to use us for his special purpose. You know, the creator of the universe says, follow my son. And the son says, follow me to the father. Entertainment. We, we pay attention to what entertains us. There are three big, like three big movies that are hitting the theaters about the same time, I think about now, that all have like a religious inference or a scriptural reference, but, you know, the debates are already out and about. The movie Noah, um, starring Russell Crowe, I think, that's getting debated that it's very, very much not biblical. And then there's a movie called Son of God, and I think that one is Roma Downey and her husband, I think, have produced, directed, whatever. And, um, you know, she's kind of got, she's got her own interest, interesting spirituality that doesn't really lend itself towards scripture either. And then there's one called God is Not Dead. I've read um, very negative reviews on the first two. I can't, I can't address any of them and truth be known, I probably won't see any of them. Because I'm finding something out as these end of days unfold. I really believe one of the true marks of Yehovah on his set-apart people 
will be our lack of participation or interest in being entertained. I can pray to the creator of the universe and I can hear his voice. I can't, I, nothing tops that. And once we hear his voice, there, there just isn't a void other than, you know, a desire to hear it again. But there isn't any, once you have a relationship with the creator of the universe, the voids in life just aren't there. They're just not. There isn't always that need to fill and always that need to, to be doing, you know, to be doing something that makes you feel better because his presence Nothing feels better than his presence in your life. I truly believe that, um, you know, those of us in the remnant, whatever we, you know, whatever the term is, the children of the living God, you know, we're simply going to be so busy about the Father's business. And that's not talking about collecting donations or talking about themselves or, you know, any of that, but literally the Father's business. There just isn't a void that needs to be filled, and you know, entertainment just isn't it. But we also have lost touch with the things that are enjoyable, and we've replaced it with entertainment. And I'll get to that in a minute. Because I truly think we can look back on the years of movies and television and see that our society has followed the programming. Television and movies are influential. So are books, but our society isn't doing so much reading these days, and certainly not, you know, in mass. You know, what goes out over the airwaves, you know, at 7 o'clock tonight will have a, a much larger viewing audience than, you know, the New York Times bestseller, whatever that is, you know, to be read simultaneously. That's just not going to happen. So, anyway, you know, even the religious gatherings have admittedly added entertainment. I mean, I have seen some things that really look like circus stuff. And so our entire society is geared towards entertaining. I need to be entertained. And the reason for that, I truly believe, is that we've lost touch with taking time to enjoy things. There's so many things that, you know, it's like enjoyment, something enjoyable, pleasantries, that hardly even exists in our society anymore. It's it's fast paced and it's high high energy entertainment is what people are seeking. It thrills. For me, nothing has been more enjoyable than time in the country with grandchildren. And you know, when I was running the mission in town, the the children that just wanted to do those simple things, you know, help me with my homework. You know, I, I want to, and I'm not saying that homework is necessarily enjoyable, but I'm saying to be able to make it accomplishable, you know, that, that felt good to them. To help them get to the end, you know, point A to point B, that felt good to them. Now, I don't know, you know, where they are now in life, but I know that a feeling of accomplishment is enjoyable. And I know sharing something special I enjoy, like with my grandkids, I was going to say, you know, whether we're outdoors or in the kitchen, sharing the simplicity with them has always been just truly enjoyable. What a blessing. And I could honestly say, you know, my, I, my grandkids, you know, they've all outgrown me by now, but the only programmed screen time I've ever shared with my grandchildren are Bible videos, Veggie Tales, and Fiddler on the Roof. And I'm not saying television and movies are all bad. What I'm saying is we don't have as much free time to kill as most of us are taking. That's been part of the programming that we need this unwind time and we need this and we need, you know, that's what I'm saying. We've bought into that programming. I can't help but believe the, you know, the evil and the enemies of the day gain footholds by the things we invite into our minds and hearts through programming and entertainment. And we do know, whether we admit it or not, 
when programmed entertainment became the center of the home, rather than the occasional event, our society changed. It just did. The old adage, idle hands are the devil's workshop, is an old adage because it makes sense. Entertainment falls into occupying idle hands. And it's definitely become a priority in our society. And I truly think in these last days, the people of Yudhe need to get back to what is enjoyable, what we rejoice in, what we can share. And that truly does occupy a certain amount of, of course, work time, but also leisure time. Relax it, enjoyable time. When we're enjoying our life and when we have a direction, we don't really need the entertainment we've been told that we do. And when we have a relationship with our Heavenly Father in His Son, there isn't a void that entertainment, there just isn't a void that needs to be filled. We have Him. Once we have a relationship with you, He fills whatever void we had in our life. This has been, before it was headlines, it was prophecy. I'm Katie Elizabeth. <laughs>